Hey everybody, it's Leanne, it's November 30th, and I'm in the Who Are You video valley where I've been finding dozens of structures over the past couple of years. And sure enough, here's another new little build here. And for me, it really speaks volumes. So let me just quickly show you what's going on here. First of all, there is an old tree right here that's been, well actually that's no, not old, it looks quite fresh, that has just been yanked. The top is, who knows where the top of of that tree is, but it's a fresh twist, snap, break right there. And this large piece of wood, looks like it's maybe been on the ground for a while, has been balanced up on top, touching it right there. Okay, it's quite a big piece. There's the end of it. And then we have this long piece of wood uh, leaning up ouch, against against um against the side of there's one that's a y branch leaning up against it there's another small little branch and there's another little y branch just uh, leaning up against it this is more i think for decoration i don't think that's offering any support for anything uh and then there's this little guy right in there that's been placed so it really is like a work of art just sitting there all nice and pretty and it serves no function, of course. And I really don't think a human would ever be propelled to to think of wanting to create something like this. So I just wanted to show All you. All right, so I'm about 250 meters, 300 meters down the trail. And there's this beauty. Now I've included this structure in some videos before. I think I may have actually made a a short video on it maybe six months ago or so. Now I can tell just from standing here that there has been some changes that have taken place here since I was last photographing this about a month ago or so. I believe that there's been some more wood left on this side here to kind of round at the bottom there. There's a nice green, evergreen bough, pine. It's been left right here, isn't that nice? Right here, it looks quite fresh. The camera can't focus on that. Isn't that beautiful? And what I really love, that wasn't always here, but I saw it the last time I was here, is this big, beautiful bowed arch. It's, a <laughs> it's the pole of a tree. And all the branches have been snapped off. And you can see here that it was yanked, or broken somehow, and then brought in to be included in this beautiful creation. Um, the last time I was here, there was a couple more fresh evergreen boughs placed on the inside, but it looks like they're no longer here. There used to be another large structure just over here, but it's since been taken down for whatever reason. Maybe some of that wood was recycled into this one, but it sure is a beautiful creation. It's just lovely, and, uh, and it's off the trail. It's beautiful, and when I first found this, it was quite simple. There wasn't too much wood going on here, and slowly, oh, look at that. That's a new piece of wood right here, this board. That was in here last time. <laughs> Check that out. Fun. Yeah, it's a piece of two by four, two by six. So. Huh, isn't that something? Now, where that was found is beyond me and who would walk all this way in here carrying that piece of wood just to include in the structure if this was being built by a human or humans. It doesn't make any sense. All right, so this is here. Now, I'm gonna show you another collection of sticks just right there that have shown up in the past month and a half or so and uh, so I'll take it right there. 
Okay, so this is new. Now this is again off the trail and I don't see any human purpose for bringing in these sticks and assembling them in this fashion around this tall maple, perhaps. It really is something. Maybe it's the beginning of a structure. Maybe it's a just a bit of a lumber yard, just to, um, you know, maybe they're planning a structure nearby. Who knows? But I do like the, the symmetry of placement of some of these sticks around the base of this tree. So, just for what it's worth, this is here. Okay, and the teepee that I just showed you is just right through there. Okay, now let's go down the trail, and I think that there's another All right, one. so check this out, folks. I'm about half a kilometer down the trail in this beautiful old forest, protected forest. And this showed up late summer, actually. And I find it interesting because last winter, I think in January, February, I was coming by here and there was a new construction right here against this branch of this beautiful, massive, fallen old granddaddy tree, grandmother tree. And I think I called it the Beaver Lodge. And it was quite rounded. And the entrance was from this angle, looking this way. And it was just a really beautiful, tight structure. And you can see the remnants of that structure here. It was taken down. Come the summer, it was quite a big pile of wood here. And then this showed up. Now, when this first showed up, oh, I see a piece that's been moved. Cool. Uh, I could show you some comparison photos. See this one? photos. See this one right here? This piece of wood that's shaped like an elbow. That used to be, when I first found it, leaning over the very front here. It used to be hanging right over here. Because I've made a couple videos of this already. I haven't published them. I don't, I don't know why. And um, so it's been moved from the front to the very back, which is interesting. There was also a couple of beautiful horizontal branches across this side. perfectly placed, barely hanging on. It was quite something to try to figure out how they were hanging on. They're no longer there. The wall, this wall is now thicker and it's been built against this fallen tree. It's actually not part of that big grand, grand tree. It's a, it's a tree that's fallen at a, you know, tipped over coming out of the ground right there. And because this is uh, maintained, well, this is a protected park and these walking trails are taken care of. I'm sure that was cut just to keep this little walking trail open. Um, there was another really interesting thing when I first found the structure, and I should have some photos or I can make some screenshots of it. And that is inside here, way at the very end, there was a couple sticks standing up, maybe, I don't know, 14, 16 inches high that had been wedged upright in the ground so that they were perfect, touching the tree at the, the perfect height. And it looked like it was, you know, helping suspend the tree. Of course, it wasn't doing that whatsoever. But it was just such a unique placement and thoughtful placement of a couple small little sticks. So they're no longer there. Uh, so anyway, it's a beautiful creation. And I like seeing that the walls are a bit thicker since I've been lost here. And when you take into consideration all of the structures that I've been finding in this valley, including all the footprints and the mud downstream from here, about two kilometers, and the audio that I've done and, and the activity that I've captured at night, the mylar balloons, the, the dozens and dozens and dozens of structures that keep showing up and disappearing and being moved and reassembled and added to, and it just is nonstop. It's never ending. There's something truly unique happening here. And so 
That's why I keep coming back. <laughs> because I always think that, well, there's something new for me to find. And, and I actually think every time I have returned, there has been something new. So, and again, like today, the, uh, the little structure at the start and the last structure had been added to a little bit around the base. And these walls certainly are thicker. So for what it's worth, I'm gonna show you one more thing. So there's the structure I just left. Here's the big grandmother, grandfather tree. And see this right here? This is the end of a tree that's been just gently tucked in right here. That's the only place. Now follow, watch where it goes. Way up and over to there. Now I'm gonna walk over there. Oh here, come with me. I'm gonna show you. There's one, two, three bends right here and a break. So take a look here. So there's the structure and that end is connected to that tree, okay? There's another tree of about equal size behind it that's been snapped in the same direction. And there's another beautiful bend right here where the end, where's my finger, is tucked in over there. And so, you know, how was that tucked? That didn't get caught when that big tree came down. No way. That would have been standing straight up. So I, I don't remember seeing that last time I was here. I'll have to check my, um, my videos. That may be a recent tuck. And again, pointing in that direction. So for what it's worth, pretty neat, huh?